Hey, hi guys, welcome back to the, the Yoga Man channel. And today we are very excited uh, to be having a special guest tonight. Uh, many of you know this gentleman. If you've been part of the sports industry in Uganda, Isaac is not new to this industry, but of course he's here, so I'm not going to speak for him. But Isaac, you're most welcome to this interview. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and uh, first and foremost, I think this is the maiden interview as the CEO of Express FC. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Um, Isaac, I'm very happy on your new role, but um, knowing you from the previous years, you are not new to the sports industry. First and foremost, how have you been? I've been great, I've been fine. Um, working, uh, you know, football, football people, we yes. never rest, looking out for new talent, new developments, what needs to be done, especially after this uh, pandemic. Yes. What um, the effects of how, how, how this has affected the sport. Yes. So, yeah, I've been okay and working hard. I understand that before actually we went into lockdown, you made one of the biggest headlines when we, you made a transfer, you made a deal between a Ugandan player and an Algerian club. Yes, please. That's Alan Okero. That's Alan Okero. Yes. How, how, how is he performing now? Um, he's doing well, um, but the challenges of joining a new club, a club with a slightly higher standards with where he has been. Mm. I last visited him in December and he's doing pretty fine. He, you know, he's played now two games now, but they're trying to get him, integrate him into the team slowly. Mm. Um, and of course, he had a slight he had a slight injury, but um, we are working on that. It's not something really big, but he's okay. Generally, he's fine. Okay, he's fine. The injury is uh, allowing him to continue with the normal routine. At the he's, he's under rehabilitation and playing, let's say, 30-40 percent of the games. Yes. Wow, amazing. So, Isa, away from you know Alan Okeo, before we go into the nitty gritties of Express FC. I understand you've also been, um, you know, involved at KCCA for the longest time I have known you. you you've you also helped so many young players right from school. I know you've nurtured a number of players before. And um, this makes you one of the strong pillars, you know, in the football industry in Uganda with all that you have done. Tell us, um, the league prematurely ended. Sure. Yeah. And of course, we know Vipers was announced the winner. Uh, how do you think that affected our our normal progress of the league? You see, um, this issue is, is is global, so it has affected every other league, yes. every other sport, especially on in the development development of the game and the progress of um, people's plans, leagues' plans, uh, federations' plans, and all that. It, uh, it has affected us in a way that um, we hope to have ended the league better. Right now I'm talking on behalf of, let's say, Express. We hope that Express would have ended the league in higher positions. That was not possible. It has affected the Federation in terms of planning. We also hope that we we'll have as many players play national uh, national games, maybe on the national team, so that we can have opportunities to help players get um, scouted and play professionally. So on, a, on an individual level of players, it has affected them that way. Of course, even financially, some people have lost a lot um, in terms of sponsors coming in. We'll, even after the pandemic, we will not, we'll not be able to have as many resources available because of the of the economic um, distress distresses. Wow, um, Isaac, 
we we now know you're shifting to the biggest shoes in this game of football. Sure. Being a CEO at a club that has history. Mukwano Gwabanji. Yes, sir. Express FC. You know, the entire Kampala knows Express FC. Express FC has a history of the most loved club by the business people yes. in Kampala. Especially the women. They really love the club. So, as we congratulate you, Isaac, what should people look up to? You know, what is this that you bring me to express? And what should people look out for as you take over this role? First and foremost, as you've said, Express is a big brand. Express is associated with doing very well, having the best players. Historically, Express has had one of the best talents in this country. It's supported by the corporate world, the business people. So the, the first expectation is performance. The team must perform. And it's, it's an exciting challenge for me. I'm driven by challenges. Um, I, would have, I would have remained where, where I've been comfortably, managing players, people knowing that I, 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 I broke at the Alan deal and I'm happy with that, but no. I feel there's more I can contribute to the, 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 the game of sport in this country. I feel that um, Express ought to be at the top again, which it will be. Um, I love passionate people, and Express fans, Express the board especially, they are, they are passionate people. So that's what we want. And I believe with, with the support of uh, different stakeholders in the game, and of course with God's blessings, we will we'll get to where we, we, we ought to be. Yeah, I, I also understand, um, Isaac, of course, um, our teams really have big, big challenges, uh, of which I saw Express FC has been stepping up its game from the time, I think, when they rebranded, you know, they got players and the management has really become very, very swift. Um, is there any challenge that you think, actually, we have faced as an industry, we have faced as the football industry in Uganda? that we need to be working on, especially since you have been involved in the transfer of players and brokering all these deals between Ugandan players and, you know, within Uganda and uh, abroad. Do you think we need to do something? Because we seem not to be having enough players representing in the big leagues. From my experience and uh, understanding of the game, I think we need to first identify or acknowledge that the most important aspect of the game today are the footballers. This this is something most most clubs tend not tend not to understand or to oversee. If you have a motivated player, you the, this player will get you results, and that that is the main objective of every, of every club or every sport. So we need we need to look at player welfare. We need to we need to understand that um, players are key to the success of of the game, and then also proper. Yes, we, we also need to have structures. We need to have proper structures of running the game. We should also look at football as a business. You you get a body investing specific amounts of money. They they need at a certain point in time get return on investment not just think it's a leisure sport on, in terms on the side of the players and also in terms on the side of the administrators to also know that this is a business where whoever, where, whereby whoever is putting in money needs to get money back their money back so those are some of the issues the sport has faced and it slows down the progress and the development of the sport and the players as well Right. Um, also, coming to the issue of sponsorships, of course, I just need a bit of your comments in this because you're now taking up a big role where some of the things are conversations that people need to know. When, when it comes to sponsorships, do you think we've really got to a level where brands are appreciating the sport 
or we still need to do more in terms of marketing our clubs to to the fans and to the brands in business that can come into the sport generally if I talk in general terms in, in our league we still lack the, the, the right sponsors okay what I mean is that uh, we, we, we need the top corporate companies on board but for them to get back on board we also need to change the image of our clubs we need to change the way our clubs or the, fa the funds take themselves we also need to change the brand. We also need to rebrand our clubs the right way. Now, any corporate sponsor who, who wants to come on board will need to look at the structures, the club structures. If you don't have structures, then they, they, they'll be skeptical in joining this particular club. So we need to rebrand ourselves, have the right image, and then also align ourselves with corporate, corporate governance. If you have the right plans, you, you'll, you'll be able to have um, sponsors on board. Yes, we sponsors are out there, but they need the right people in, in the right places and different clubs to make sure that they are attracted to sponsor. Interesting. Isaac, this is 2020 May. Isaac Mwesgo announced the new CEO of Express FC. Where do you see Express FC in the next two years? Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the Express Board for having confidence in me. Um, I'd like to thank the people who have supported me in this journey, the journey um, I have been walking. I see Express FC doing very well. Doing very well, better than how they have they are, they are been performing. I'm not saying this because I'm now the CEO, but I'm saying this because I know Express FC does not belong where they are today. So we'll work, we'll do better. I know we will do better. We must do better. It's a, it's, it's, it's a primary requirement. Do we expect a title in the next two years? Why not? We, we, we should expect titles. We should expect silverware as soon as possible. Yeah, because as we were coming to do this interview, I looked at Twitter. Twitter is awash with a lot of messages from, I think, some of the real guaranteed supporters of Express FC. So many people have been tweeting out and congratulating you. And of course, many are saying we are looking forward to you rejuvenating the glory of the club. We are looking forward to you uh, bringing, um, you know, bringing some exclusive kind of knowledge to the club. So do you want to promise people are gonna get what they really expect at one group? Thank you very much for the support and goodwill. For the support and goodwill of the people, the fans, express fans. I appreciate that. And having confidence in me to take the club to where, it's, where it belongs. Um, I want to promise the fans that um, come next season, with the support of the board and the t technical team and with the right players, which we ought to get, which we will get definitely, um, Express will do very well. I'm appealing to the fans to be patient with the project, to be patient with us, to avoid they, 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 they even have a saying of to be work half time. This time around, I, 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 I appeal to, to be patient with us, with us so that we can achieve our, our goals. I appeal to, to the fans to come back on board. We need as much support as possible to make this happen. We have the board supporting us, but also, also the board would, would love to have stakeholders, other stakeholders. Who, who, who can lend a hand and we, we push this club to greater heights. Thank you so much, Isaac, and uh, we wish you all the best. We shall be following the journey. Thank you. Uh, rest assured, once the league opens, we're going to be at Wanguku covering it all Thank the you. way, I think, for the next years to come. 
And uh, we would also want to thank you for exposing the Ugandan players to the international marketing that is uh, actually coming from me as an individual because what you've done for the sport of football in Uganda is really, really great both at KCCA and all the other clubs that you've really been helping in terms of extending your knowledge and your kind of you know advice when it comes to some of those things so thank you so much isaac and uh, we look forward we look forward to having you again of course we thank shall you. be following the journey thank you very much and uh, thank you for your time thank you you're welcome Bye.